Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Quick Frame. We're going to show just how quickly a frame can be input and analysed. Quick Frame setup program will have added this icon to your desktop called QuickSoft for Windows. Let's open the folder. Inside you will find an icon to start Quick Frame. Quick frame has started. This is a trial copy, so it's showing this registration form with the trial expiry date. Click continue. This is Quick Frame's introductory form. We're going to create a new frame using the interactive graphical user interface. Okay, Quick Frame uses a system of construction lines to create geometry. We're going to input a simple 18 and a half meter span truss. So I'm going to select the Create Parallel Line tool. I'm going to enter 18.5 meters. Now the prompt in the bottom left hand side is saying click near and to side of line. So I'm going to select this line. And now I'm going to zoom in so that that area fits neatly on the screen. So I click zoom in, drag a rectangle around, and now it sits nicely on the screen. Now I want to split this distance into eight equal centers. So I select the points tools and the equal centers tool and enter 8. OK. I click near this point and this point. And now I want to add some vertical lines going through these points. So I select the Lines tool again. Angle Line. I enter 90 degrees for vertical. Click OK. And click, 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 click. And again, and again, and again. Now the pitch of our truss is going to be 15 degrees. Angle tool again, 15 degrees. Click OK and through this point. And that's our construction. I'm going to zoom in again just to get it nicely on the screen. A bit more nice. And then I'm going to select the zoom menu item and say set is full view. That means that I can now zoom in and zoom back out to the full view. Now we've done a little bit of input so I'm now going to save the frame. Click here and give it a title tutorial and save. So let's add some members. We'll select the Members tab. Now I'm going to add members which are pinned at both ends. So the top boom from there to there, from there to there. Now I add the bottom boom. And now I'm going to enter the internals. From here to here, 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 from here to here. And some diagonals from here to here, from here to here. And finally, just pop these in. That's our members added. I'm going to save it again. I like to save regularly. OK, so let's add the bases. Select the bases toolbars. And we'll have a vertical reaction here. And here and a horizontal reaction. Now this is going to seem odd. I'm going to put it at the apex. That means that when we look at the deflections we'll get some nice symmetrical results. Okay and now we'll add some loads. Now the current load case is displayed on the status bar here. So any loads that we add now are going to go into the permanent dead load case. So let's add a uniform load to the top booms. Select the tool and vertical 
and the value is going to be 3 kilonewtons per meter. Click here and the prompt is saying direction acting towards here and to that side. I would change the current load case to removable dead and again in this instance this is a customer job which I'm inputting is three kilonewton meters again and now some impose load and the value for that is 4.5 kilonewton meters So at this stage, we've entered the geometry and we've entered the loading. All that remains is to give this frame some section sizes. So we'll select the sections tab. And the little blue book here displays the table of section groups. So to change this, any table in QuickFrame or any of the QuickSoft software, you select it, you right click and you see this pop up menu. I'm going to select change. Now the group name is going to be top. Boom. The material is going to be steel. And in this instance, we want a 203, 203, 46 UC. And grade 355. And for the bottom boom, change. Bottom boom, material steel, and actually the section size is the same. Oh, <laughs> I made a slight error there. I actually edit it instead of insert it afterwards. So I'm going to input insert before, and I have to re put in the top boom. And now we've got the two. Now hopefully I'll get this correct. Insert after. Uh, and the name for these are going to be internals. Okay. Oh, we need to change the section size of that to steel. And I want a cold formed SHS. And it needs to be 100 by 100 by 5. And again, grade 355. So let's just review the table. And that looks correct. Click OK. Now what we've got to do is to assign these to these section sizes or section groups to the members. So I select this tool. Top boom. Click, click, bottom boom, click, and finally the internals, click, 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 and so on. And save. Okay. That's our frame input. We've input the geometry, we've input the loading, we've input the sections and the bases. So now we can look at the axial load, the shear force, bending, and a nice symmetrical set of deflections. Now these results are for the combinations, for the combination dead plus imposed. We'll look at that in a little more detail later, but what we did, of course, is we entered the loads onto the load cases. Um, and then uh, QuickFrame has got a default set of combinations. It's also got a combination wizard, so there's lots of things that we can do with this. But for now, let's keep it simple. So that was the actual shear bending deflection. If we click this final tab, the results, we can see printed results on the screen. And we can send this to the printer by clicking here.
Let's just go back to the geometry. I'm just going to show you one last thing. We can actually add dimensions to this drawing very simply. Dimensions tab, dimension. From there to there to there to there. And we can put an angle on this top boom. And that concludes our tutorial.